Okay, so I've been editing this video for literally like a week now since I've arrived in China. I did really good when I first got here. I was editing it and everything and then uh, it just kind of got like crazy. I started getting really busy and then I was like super tired and I just kept putting it off more and more and more. It took me so long to edit it that I kind of ran out of what I was going to do. So it's kind of me just talking and if you like talking and traveling, then you'll like this video. I just got past security and everything, and right now I'm just chilling at the airport. Um, <laughs> I got here two, well, no, three hours before my flight, because that's what it said to come about three hours, two and a half hours before your international flight, but security was so easy. I just walked through, put my stuff in, and walked through the scanner. And I'm literally the second person at my gate. <laughs> so it's gonna be a long time. So I think I'm probably gonna read a bit and listen to some music. All right, I just made it to Shanghai. Uh, no, not Shanghai, I made it to Toronto. And right now I'm gonna catch a flight um, to Shanghai. Uh, I have like five minutes before they start boarding, which isn't a big deal or anything. I'm gonna have plenty of time but it's a little more, a little less time than I would like. All right, so. I made it to Shanghai, finally. Um, it has been some experience going through customs and everything. It was really easy. All we did was we just kind of um, walked up to a counter, gave them our ticket information, and they just looked at us, took a picture, and went on. But there were so many cameras there. I counted like at least 30 in 10 seconds. Right now, I just had some food. It was Burger King. I don't like Burger King because that's the only place that I actually knew what was going to be served and I couldn't read anything else. I am so dead and tired. I'll tell you all about it, but first I want to show you this hotel room that my dad got. I went up to departures and I was trying to find a restaurant and I couldn't read any of the menus and I was looking at the prices and I was like well I don't want to pay for something that I don't even know what I'm gonna get and I'm usually okay with buying things I don't know much about because I'll eat pretty much anything but I just been on a 14 hour flight I've been having plain food I just not have have not been having very good food so I just wanted something that I would know what I was getting and so I there's Burger King and I hate Burger King but I sucked it up and went over there anyways and um, I told I had to point to what I wanted and <laughs> I never knew what foreigners like felt like when they had to point to something and like just point and say this and I went up and I was like this and she said okay and I said does this come with a drink and she said and french fries and I was like okay um, and she just gave me Diet Coke or something, and I hate diet drinks. But I didn't want to tell her no because, I mean, I can't even speak the language. So I just took it and sat down and drank some of it. And then um, I went to the Metro. The Metro was, it was easy since there was only one line. I walked past security and I thought you, usually you walk past security and then you buy a Metro card. Well, you buy a metro card and then you walk past security i walked past security and then i said oh crap i didn't buy a card and they're like well just leave your stuff here and go buy one so that's what i did i made it to one of the stations i was trying to get to and then 
I've been to New York City and it was the same way and this is the exact same way as New York City they have a sign that says this line going down and it'll point towards downstairs and I'll go downstairs and it'll say this line go up and then you have to walk up more stairs and then it'll say take this line to your if you want this line go left and then you have to walk up more stairs I had to do that and I didn't get a video because I was so tired and I was sweating so bad but the everyone wanted the escalator and so it was slammed full like it was I couldn't at anywhere get in so I picked up a 50 pound bag and a 46 pound bag with a 20 pound bag on my back and I walked up tons of stairs I thought my arms were about to fall off it was terrible I was trying to get out and I don't know why but you have to put your card in to get out in Shanghai like I thought that was kind of weird you put it in and I don't know if it deducts points or, or deducts money from it or what the problem I ran in before was that my bags and I did not have enough time to get in since they're so long and big so I pushed my bags under the stalls and then I put the ticket in and guess what the stall didn't open so I see my bags just coasting away and like they're on gliders so it's like going away not very far but still farther than I wanted and I was trying to use it and I was like oh my gosh this is not working and so I tried to wave the lady over here and I was like hey uh this thing is not working and um then this guy behind me I I don't know why he thought I don't know I was just standing there so he came up behind me and <laughs> he put his card in and he tried to push me through and I was like no 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 I'm waiting I'm like I got a girl girls coming over here and he was like what it's not working and I was like no n never mind and I was just I just moved out of the way I walked outside and oh my gosh I cannot the street signs around that built part were not in English and so I did not know which one was which or whatever and so I was looking around and all the buildings looked the same I couldn't see a building that looked like the one I saw on the internet for my hotel so I went back into the metro station. Luckily, I printed off maps of um, in Chinese, like the Chinese versions of the maps, so it'll be actually like realistic. I finally found which way I was supposed to go. I walked all the way down, and this road was a lot longer. There's so many people, so many bikes, and my arms were about to fall off. Like it was awful. I, I, I was dripping in sweat. I have not sweat this much in so long. It was a real bad workout. I finally got to the hotel and I was like, thank goodness. And then the girl said, where's your dad? Do uh, you have a guest with you? And I was like, no, my dad. And then I had to explain to her that I was here for college and that my dad stayed at home and it's just me. And she said, well, you need your dad to check in. And I was like, uh, no, I've done this before. Like maybe it's different in China, but in America, my dad just, um does buys the rooms and I get it and I stay in them and she said well hold on for one second and she went back and she talked to like some people and um she came back and she said okay you can have the room but you can't have the executive lunch that the diamond members get and I was like that's okay I'm not gonna be here for lunch anyways and she said and since you can't get the um executive lunch you'll get a free upgrade and I was like a free upgrade okay fine just give it to me and this is way too long most of this is probably not even gonna go in the vlog I just had to rant to somebody and no one is awake in Mississippi right now it's just me bye